Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to replace your hard drive in a Dell Optiplex 3020 computer. First thing you need to do is remove the cover. You got these two screws here. They are Phillips, but you might be able to get loosened with your thumb if they're uh, loose enough. Then you got this little like, lever here. Pull, lift it up. Now to access your hard drive, if I can zoom in, adjust the angle. Your hard drive is in this blue caddy underneath the optical drive. So you got to first remove your optical drive. So you got two cables in the back here. Just gently tug on them at the black connector so you don't pull out the wires. Then he's going to lift up on this tab, lifts up and moves out of the way. Now to remove the drive, which is in this whole caddy, you got, I know it's going to be hard to see, but you got this little like, slider here. All the way over, it's locked. So I know my hand's in the way, so right now, I'm not going to let you lift it up. So you want to slide it over. If I can do this like that. Now that it's unlocked, this just lifts up, disconnect your two wires, then lifts up and out of the way, like that. Now this whole thing's got to slide out. So hold this, get your little tabs here, and this should slide out, just like that. Now to get the actual drive out of the caddy, simply move these out, pull these aside, lift that out of the way, and this should, I'm going to do this without breaking it with one hand, it should just pop right off, just like that. Now where to put the new drive, which is floating around here somewhere. This is the new one I'm going with, 4 terabyte, for NES systems, network access storage, but this is for my security camera, so it's good enough. Get out of the packaging. Should fit. No jumpers or nothing. So I should just be able to slide this back in. Make sure the little locking things snap in. So you got these little like little tabs that like little bolts. That hold this kit, this drive in place like that. So now let's lock that back into place. This, if, if you did it right, this should just slide right back in and lock into place just like that. Now to reinstall it, you got these little tabs here. You got, and you got little ears sticking up here. I know it's hard to see if I can zoom in or not. Bear with me. So you got these little ears which line up with these little holes here. So, uh oh. Get them to line up. Like that. Make sure your wires are out of the way so nothing gets pinched. Goes back in, just like that. Then I said you get the little slider there. Just slide this back over. Now it's in the locked position. It won't come off. Reattach your wires. Like that. So that's reconnected. Take your optical drive, 
slide it in this way first. Being stubborn, aren't you? Okay, yeah, just the right angle. Let me connect your two cables. That's locked into place. And there you go. Now, same thing. Put your cover back on. that, tighten the screws down. No, you can't see that in the back that well. Retighten those two screws. And there you go. Hard drive's back in. Now these do sometimes use the smaller laptop size ones like these. So if yours has that, I'll put a link in the description. For instructions on how to remove that one because that one you actually have to unscrew this one just pertains to the big drives like this so that's how you swap out a drive on one of these